Today we're going to meet with Richard Alford, a waterways chaplain, and we're going to find out what is the good news down on the canal. Do you want to lead the way? Well, hopefully, otherwise, I might be a bit When I first came on the boat, I had money. You can have all the money in the world, but a boat will take it out of your pocket like that. So what's the appeal of living on a boat then, Melvin? I have freedom. I have an Emily now and Mars. There is the original of the canal now. Is it two? Two, 2000 in the UK. And it's just, it's a different way of life completely. Do you find it lonely sometimes, then? That's where Richard comes in. Yep. If I feel extremely lonely, I can make a phone call to Richard. And believe me, he's, he's heard some stick off me. Stood on the boat, cussing and swearing at God and everybody. Yeah. And Richard's just sat there, and just with a smile on his face, and just took it all in. He doesn't take a bit of notice of it. Mm. We are grumbling old kids at times, and <laughs> Richard's just there. Yeah. If I came out of hospital, I've never felt so alone and so frightened in my life. If I need a little help with a food bank, he's there. And I trust him 900% to a million percent. More than a bank or more than other people. Uh, and when it comes to benefits, yeah. Yeah. Coaches don't know what they're entitled to. Yeah. I'm not a Christian, I, I, I haven't been a Christian for quite a long time. But I'm glad that people like Richard are here. Yeah. Because the simple reason, if there wasn't, I wouldn't be here. Right. We, we call this series of films good news. Yeah. Um, what, what would you say, above everything else, is the good news about canal boat chaplains like Richard? Oh, if you need them to just sit be, and be with you, they'll sit and be with you. If you need if you need a lift somewhere, they will help you. They'll go out their way to do that. And it's worth knowing the water chaplain, whether you're a Christian, whether you're a pagan, whatever you are, where most other people can't be bothered. And that is the good news about water chaplains. And what a privilege it was to be invited on board Mel's boat today learning that chaplaincy is not so much about structures we can tell you about, but about real relationships that make a difference in people's lives. Yeah.